Right, I'm delighted to be here with Akon Wanlis ahead of an absolutely massive fight in Ostrava. We've got the official Octagon Star Wars rankings going from Octagon Master, Octagon Pad 1, Octagon Youngling, a prelim bounty hunter, all the way down to Jar Jar Binks. Uh -huh. You are the guy, Akon, who has the force, who can put these in order, right? So, example, right? Master Yoda, obviously. Master Yoda has to be Octagon Master. Come on, put him right, right up so. there. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now it gets interesting. There should be another category for him, you know what I mean? He's just <laughs> elite, do you know what I mean? But now it gets interesting. What the... I, I don't know, I'm trying not to swear, but like, you can beep it. What the fuck is Fring Pong doing on here? What the... Who, who put this donut on? Who, what... Are you serious, bro? Like, to even waste your ink putting him on this? Yeah, anyway, let, 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 let's stick him... Where does he go? I can't... Somewhere out... Oh, out he goes the below Jar Jar Binks and all the way down He's, off camera. Jar Jar Binks has got too much skill for him. Jar Jar Binks would actually bang <laughs> him in the cage. But yeah, yeah okay, cool. So, Dennis Rimpong is below Jar Jar Binks, yeah. which is about as bad as it can humanely get. Yeah, yeah. Possibly nobody else is going to be quite as bad, but no, Siraj, no. you're fighting him. Okay, Where's Siraj. He go? Siraj, Siraj let, let's, let's, let's put a little bit of respect on his name. Let's put him as a, as a prelim bounty hunter. Prelim yeah, bounty yeah, let's hunter. put him a bounty hunter right there, yeah. Okay, now we've got Lazin Keita. He's got an injury, so we're not sure whether he's going to be in the tournament or not. He's a good fighter, but is he worthy of being a master, Aiko? Uh, I, mean, I mean, he did spoke once to me and, and he said something along the lines of anything is possible. So, Lozan Keita, I'm going to give you a little bit of respect <laughs> here. I'm going to put you as a, you know, Octagon Padawan. Octagon Padawan. Definitely, definitely, because he's one with the Force. He's trying to practice the ways of the Jedi as he came up to me and was like, anything is possible, Master Jedi. Anything is possible. Who knows, beating you, I assume you think isn't possible, but Matt Quanamir Carney, ex-UFC, a good guy. Is he worthy of being a master? Is he a pad one? Is he a youngling? Where does he go? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I would say in terms of the force with uh, Matt Quan, I, I'm not sure he's too balanced in the force. I feel like he, he's got a little bit of unbalancing and a lot of uh, Jedi practices to go. So we're going to put him... Oh, in fact, but, you know, I'll give him respect. He's been in, in the UFC. So I'm going to put him up as an octagon youngling. That's right cool. here. We'll put him right here. They're filling out quite nicely yeah, now, Akon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a sort of a field. We're getting a field. We are yeah, getting a field. Yeah, yeah, nice Next one. up, we've got Daniel Torres, ex-KSW champion. But where does he rank on your list? Um, okay, in terms of the force... Uh, I, I don't think he uses the force too much. He's going, going in Jar Jar Binks. He's going in Jar Jar Binks category right here. Uh, j just, just the look of the mugshot of the face, like. Not impressed by Daniel no, Torres. No, no, Certainly no. not on the level of a Jedi Master. No, not on the level of a Jedi Master. I don't think he could even hold the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way it's he's holding that belt, it looks like it's falling off him. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to Ronald Paradis. There's somebody who's got a title, a title that you are gunning for and will hopefully take one day. Is he a master? Is he below that? Where is he at? Uh, I would say, um, I don't think he knows. Uh, I don't think, you know, I don't think he knows how to hold a lightsaber himself. You know, I see he's got a nice sharp force push. You know, his, his left hand comes in nice and sharp. So I think he's been practicing and he's been learning, but he hasn't quite mastered it yet. Yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the tougher he's guys like, yeah, yeah, in this competition. Like, he's like the two champions right there. Two champions. The Arctic and Padawan. Yeah, I think, I think this is sort of looking really good at the moment. Somebody who you've got a grudge with, Nafuka, he could even be Jar Jar Binks, because you've not been getting uh, uh, Okay, well. I, I would say, you know, since they updated his record, some out of like, you know, I don't know how they, they managed him to go eight and zero, but you know, since since he's done that, he must have like called out to Yoda or maybe Palpatine. <laughs> he called out to Palpatine and he said, "Update my record." So for that, we'll put him in the the prelim bounty hunter record. And for the last one, somebody very special, a con, somebody who is a master of the force, who adores the force. It is your very self, Mr. Acon Wanlis. Where are you going? Well, I've overtaken uh, Master Yoda, you know, so I remember what? I actually defeated him. So we're going to make a new category right here called Master Jedi. So it's not even just a Master Jedi. Yeah, you yeah. are essentially the force I itself. The force itself. So to conclude right this, there. we're going all the way to the top from Acon to Yoda, down to Jar Jar Binks for Daniel Torres, and then right at the bottom, who isn't even on the leaderboard anymore, yeah, is Mr. Dennis yeah. Rimpong. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just put him back up just so you can see, see him get absolutely uh, thrown in the trash. Right, Akon, obviously you're going to be competing and hopefully beating all of these guys throughout the next few months. A million euros on the line for this competition. Where's all this money going to go once you've won it? We're definitely going to buy some Jaffa cakes, a lot of Jaffa cakes, a couple of new lightsabers, uh, and then maybe invest a lot of it because, you know, my missus has been giving me a lot of grief about how I spend money. <laughs> Damn. So, you know, if I get a million, million bucks, then I better spend that good. Well, Akon, 
Good luck for the tournament, and may the force be with you. Thank you, may the force be with you too.